Hello and welcome to another video review of the Megatim. And I will start with improvements in the text search window. Here we have three new sections. It's translated or untranslated, simply translated or simply untranslated. And I will show you now how to use it beginning with translated or untranslated. As you see, this is a non-translated segment. These are all untranslated. So I, I need to show you a translated segment. Yeah, and here we go. So Omega T found both translated and untranslated segments. Here, Omega T finds just those segments that are already translated. So those that have the target part. And now we'll search only for those segments that are not translated. And by the way, I'm using a period as a regular expression that finds any symbol. Omega T now supports searching in comments of the source files, as long as there are comments. And in this case, I'm going to search only those segments that have comments. So I found four segments, and as you see, they all have comments. So I found only those segments that have comments attached to them in the source file. And now I'm going to show you how those nodes look in the actual source file. In my case, this is an XSplit file. So they appear between the node tags. So so this is how a node looks in the XSplit file, and this is how the same node looks appears in a Megaty. The next improvement is revamping of the filtering function. If I have search results, I can filter the editor pane using those results. So in this case, only four search results appear in the editor pane. If I want to remove the filter, in the old versions, I would click the remove filter button over here, but now it's here. So if I want to remove the filter, I click the button. And now finally changes in layout. I open two versions of Omega T, a newer one on the left and an old one on the right. The files radio button now displays to the right of the project button, making the selection more intuitive. The memory, TMs and glossary checkboxes that control where exactly Omega T performs search within the project now have out hotkeys. old versions, the function for inserting a missing text pair through the autocompleter failed to keep the selected text when you try to add text before and after it comes back. Like this. So the tags are inserted, but the text is not kept. Now this function works correctly and keeps the text within the edit tags. Like this. So the text is kept. The main quality assurance script now includes checking for different case of first letters in segment. Here's how you run it. And here's an error in the very first segment. So I have a lowercase letter in the source, but an uppercase letter in target. So I can quickly go to the segment and correct it if necessary. In this case, this is not necessary. And another error that is false positive because there is a quotation mark in the source but a letter in the target. So there is a mismatch according to the QA script. Omega T now ships with two useful scripts for removing tags. In this case, I have a segment and a fuzzy match with slightly different tags. 
So when I insert it, I get different tabs. And a target compared to the source. So I can use one of the scripts, which is called trip tags, to remove all the tags from the inserted fuzzy bag. And then I restore them manually by pressing Ctrl plus T to insert the next missing tags. Once again, the strip tags is designed to remove tags from matches inserted from translation man manuals manually. The second option is the tag free match script, which does basically the same but also inserts the match for you from the translation manual. Like this. Since having two similar scripts, is a luxury when the number of available shortcuts for scripts is just 12. I recommend using the strip text script only because even though it involves an additional manual action, it is just good to remember. And these two scripts are written by Cos and so by the way. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss any new videos about the latest in the magazine.